Uh, we've been doing this for about eight months now, I think, somewhere around there, um, when we first uh, made Man in the Black Mask and started doing the DVD reviews. Um, we now have 93 subscribers, which just fucking blows my mind. I, I just never thought in a million years that we would have 93 subscribers. Uh, it's just, G, G seven more. It's, um, that's awesome, you know? I know some people have like 10 million subscribers on YouTube, but I'm just so glad that we have 93. Um, wow. You need to do something for the big 100. Full 93 people subscribe. I'm going to start with the lovely ones. Um, Peter Jackson, I'm, I do, I have all the respect in the world for Peter Jackson. I'm a huge fucking fan. I mean, all the way from the start of his career, Bad Taste, um, all the way through, I mean, fucking Dead Alive, Heavenly Creatures, Lord of the Rings trilogy, uh, Meet the Feebles, fucking, I just, I just fucking adore the man. You know, I really, really do. So I was completely stoked when I heard about, uh, Lovely Bones. I mean, even King Kong, um, I, I enjoy that as well. But um, he went back to his roots. I mean, Heavenly Creatures is one of his best films that he's ever directed, and this is sort of in the vein of that, but not nearly as good. And I think it's a classic case of amazing director, bullshit material. I mean, who gives a shit about Heaven? Uh, I just... Icicle, that's all I'm going to say. For those of you who have seen Heavenly... I'm not Heavenly Creatures, I'm sorry, have seen Lovely Bones, Icicle. Fuck that Icicle bullshit. You know? Fuck it. Um, let's talk about Alice in Wonderland, Tim Burton's remake. Um, I thought it was bullshit. I thought it was an epic failure. I wanted to shoot myself in the head while I was watching it. It seriously, and I'm not kidding, I'm not exaggerating, it was giving me a headache while I was watching it. It literally was making me sick to my stomach. And it was just, it was so much CGI and the characters. It was, was a fucking cartoon. It was it phony. Was, it was like, I, I've seen it 10 million times before. I've seen it done before 10 million times. And it just... And the Treasure Cat pissed, pissed, he pissed me off. Treasure his... Cat's a fucking faggot. He's like Aslan the Lion in the Narnia series. He's just like one of the gang. He's supposed to be... Johnny Depp. Creepy. Fail. Serious. You fail. I... Which is weird. Why is that weird? I don't know. It just... It just seemed... So you cool. know what? I had no expect. I had no expectations. I was just like, dude, this is going to be a fucking bullshit movie. My expectations are already really low. I went and saw it, and it was even worse than I thought it was going to be. Let's talk about Kick-Ass. Kick-Ass is, I think awesome. it was a decent movie. I, I think it was pretty good. I have nothing really bad to say about it. Um, Nicolas Cage is wonderful. I hate fucking, I hate saying I'm a Nicolas Cage fan because I feel like when you say you like Nicolas Cage, immediately you have to defend him because so many motherfuckers hate Nicolas Cage. Yeah, a lot of people do. But I, I really like Nicolas Cage. I, I, I always have and, you made know, a lot of good movies. He made some bombs too. But. I even like his generic action films like Face Off. Con Air and The Rock, you know, I'm just... Gone in 60 seconds. Gone in 60 seconds, you know, I just, a Moonstruck, you know, I'm, I'm just, I, I really do like the guy. And, no one pissed um, me off, though, not gonna lie. <laughs> but anyway, um, So Kick-Ass, it's, it's, a, it's not a kick-ass movie, but it's pretty good. And um, then also, what else was it you talking about? The Nightmare on Elm Street Nightmare remake. Um, failure. Failed. It had all the potential in the world to be a great film, and it just wasn't. It just missed the mark. One thing I have to say to those of you that have seen the film already, micro-naps. Fuck you in your micro-naps. Fuck you. Bullshit, man. It was just a bunch of bullshit. I can't believe that they're going to do a sequel. I'm pissed off. Every time I even think about the fact that the movie was made, it just pisses me off. Fuck you in your Nightmare on the Street remake. It's just, a, it's just a fucking load of bullshit. That's all it is. I'm Go waste your time and waste your money. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Go see the movie. I'm glad. I'm glad I chose Kick-Ass. Hey, on that. paper, <laughs> if I talk about the concept of the film, it sounds great on paper. But execution-wise, execution. absolute bullshit. Uh, not a fan. Um, and then we are going to talk about also... Um, it's at the tip of my tongue. Descent Part 2. Oh. <laughs> I, I actually really love the first Descent. Everybody loves the Descent. I thought it was original, it was... and I thought that it was... It's a great horror movie. Everybody loves very it. Very cool. Um, I was looking forward to seeing Descent 2. What's weird about the Descent 2 is because they had really, really good high production. And it was a great... Yeah, they had all the potential in the world to make a great sequel. They brought back all the same production. actresses. It, it looked it, like it was. They brought back all the same people. And they had all this potential to make it. Really I, I honestly believe that whoever wrote this was smoking crack. 
Yeah. Like, it might have been the same director of, like, Blue Terrace. Uh, the, the story... It might as well have been. I mean, I know it was... it, it's The Descent, so the story can't be, you know, that amazing or whatever, but it wasn't really... It didn't follow very well. It wasn't coherent at all, and it was just... It was, it was just bad. I mean, the only good thing about it was... The gore scenes were pretty awesome. They were the funny, yeah. But, but aside from that, it's a total waste of time. It's, it was disappointing. It was, it very was still disappointing. funny. It was fun and funny to laugh at. Okay, well, um, um, how many we got? Five minutes left. Um, well, let's talk about uh, the computer. Um, so, Reunion is this film that we have been working on for a long time. Not that long, I don't know, maybe oh, two A months. very fucking long time. It feels time, like a long dude. time, you know? And, dude, you know, I, I... When did we start pre-production? In, like, fucking December? Yeah. It's been about half a year. Okay, Man in the Black Mass was the first film that we sh uh, made. And, you know, honestly, I'm, I'm not exaggerating or any. It was a $5 budget. The only thing I paid for was the fucking nose putty that you see on uh, Spencer's face in the end. And other than that, there was no other money except for gas put into that. But um, the new film, Reunion, I personally put in about $800 cash. And it, was, it shouldn't have even been that much. It was just, I put in 600 in the beginning. And then it, each time we filmed, I had like a new idea. I'm like, oh, well, we should add this. So I'd end up spending another $100. I ended up spending around $800, $850. Total budget was probably $1,100, $1,000. And it shouldn't have even been that much. It's just that it was a gore film, and we really wanted to add to the actual gore effects. Like, we really... I, I, I think I'm really, I'm very happy with the product of it. It all comes down to whether or not other people embrace it or not. But I'm really happy with the film that I made. And um, we, had the, we had the whole thing saved on this computer, on this hard drive. On this Mac, yeah. And Grant one day, he was leaving the BSU parking lot, uh, which is um, the local college here in Boise. I don't even know what happened. And I was really tired. And for whatever reason, I've never done this because I always have it right with me. I left it on the hood of my car. I drove off. Drove off. So it was lost. I got and home. And he was lost. But I, we didn't know what the computer was. So for three fucking days, I, I thought it was gone. Uh, dude, I was depressed. I didn't leave my room. It was yeah. gone. It was we just were, gone. We were forever. all depressed. Me, me and Matt were depressed. We didn't have any hope for anything. Uh, I got back to school. I put up like a hundred flyers. I was flyers. ready to give up. I was just ready to give up. Just so three days later, you went back to school. You put up flyers. Put up all these everywhere. flyers. Someone actually called this motherfucker. Someone called Some me. Some honest John fucking <laughs> called this motherfucker. But said, it had been. I lost it Friday afternoon. She found it Saturday. And she found it Saturday. It had been in the road for and like twenty four hours. He, he had left road. it on top of his jeep. Drove off. And it fell off his Jeep, and it was in the fucking road, and she found it next to the sidewalk 24 hours later. But luckily, And it fucking rained. Yeah, it but there, rained. But its case was on it, so it was protected. The computer was fucked. It luckily, was completely destroyed. Luckily, the screen was The destroyed. screen was broken. The hard drive was But the data fine. was saved. The data was saved. And, and it took and, about two weeks, uh, so we were we were pushed back it, a little it bit. it was saved, and we got it fixed. But it's back now. And it's back. And it's, so. it's full <laughs> throttle. It's back, and we're finishing editing it right now. And we're going to do an, uh, something next. We're not really 100% sure what we're doing next. But I wrote a, um idea for a television show that we might do. It's called The Killing Time. And it's about these filmmakers who are making independent films and cannot afford great gore effects. So they start killing people um, in order to... And I got this in... I was watching Pieces. And I was watching the special features. And I learned that they used a pig in one of the scenes where they saw the girl in the stomach... They actually did a close-up shot of a dead pig, and that's what they actually... I was like, wow, that, it's really interesting. Like, what if someone actually did that with a real human being? And then, then that gave me the idea for the television show, and I kept working on it. And so it's called The Killing Time. It's about these filmmakers who actually kill people and are trying to keep it a secret so they can keep producing their films and uh, actually having great special effects. And so we're probably going to do that. I'm not really sure. We'll first at least have a pilot on, episode. Yeah, so we're going to focus on finishing Reunion. It should be done really soon. We cannot put it on YouTube because there's nudity and all kinds of, kinds of shit that violate YouTube. But um, you can buy it. And um, it's not very expensive. I, I'm not really trying to make a lot of money. I definitely know I'm not going to make my money back. But I want people to see it. So uh, we'll talk about that when it comes. But um, I'm, I'm so fucking happy that we have 93 subscribers. That blows my mind because I never thought in a million years that I, I would even... I remember we had 50 subscribers. I was like blown away. Okay, peace out.